Okay, first I'm gonna be talking about the good. This game is super, super colorful. It's so bright and exciting. The colors are just great. They pop off the TV screen. Every time you battle, you're a different color, so that's always changing whatever team that you're a part of. Uh, one match could be orange, another you could be purple, another you could be neon blue. It's so much fun that way, and you never know what to expect. You know, Nintendo's been getting a lot of flack because people say that they just keep rehashing their first party franchises. This game is totally new. It's, it's, not, any, it's not Mario, it's not Donkey Kong, it's not Link. It's, uh, it's an entirely new thing. It's highly competitive, but in a way that's good for all ages. You could be five years old and you could play this with an elder. They're gonna enjoy it just as much as you do. Sure, you're doing team battles and you're fighting each other, but you're not gonna get that violence that games like Call of Duty give you. It's sort of a way to experience that, but without all the blood and gore. Now, my first time playing this game, I was making the mistake where I just kept using the roller and I just kept using the same strategy over and over again. And I had to keep playing it and dying a bunch of times to realize that there's actually quite a different amount of strategies you can choose. I'm sure that when the game is finally released, people will be coming out with all kinds of different things. But for myself, I've already come up with a few, and I feel like it's just going to keep growing and, and I'm going to keep adding to that. Because if you don't come up with new strategies or if you don't think of what you're going to be doing, you're just going to die constantly. You will get good at this game really quick. It's really easy to pick up that way. Now onto the not so good. There's actually no voice chat for this game yet, and for me that's a huge bummer because I'd love to be able to communicate with people. I get that there's Skype and things like that, but if you're playing online with random people, you want to have the ability, even if they're not always going to strategize with you, maybe they'll just be screaming into the microphone, but you want to have the ability to, to be able to plan things and strategize with your teammates, and I find that I haven't been able to do that. Um, so I'll, I'll pick a teammate and I'll kind of stick with them and I'll hope that they're going to follow what I'm doing, but without the voice chat it's really, really hard to keep track of everybody and it's really, really hard to let them know what you're about to try to do. One other thing I have to mention is that when it comes to local multiplayer, it's really lacking. You can only play one-on-one -on -one battles. I'd really like to be able to bring like, like something like what Smash Bros did, have eight players, eight player Splatoon battles uh, locally. That would be so much fun. Or even if it's just, uh, I mean that would be kind of tough on a TV screen, but even if it was just four players, um, I mean, maybe they'll add that in later on. I think that would be a really, really cool bonus. So my overall verdict for this game is that it's frustrating and it's a pain in the butt sometimes, but it's so much fun and it's so addictive for that reason. You want to keep coming up with new strategies. You want to keep playing with friends and getting better and better. And we're just getting a taste of that now. We're just getting our first touch at being able to play with people and play online and, and learn new strategies. So that's so, so exciting to think about. Uh, the other thing is, the single player mode is really super awesome. You get to level up and you get to learn strategies and battle with bots that you can use later on in the game uh, against actual opponents. So if multiplayer is not your thing, that's a lot of fun too. This game is also very well marketed. It's something that before I even touched the game, I was so excited to play it. I saw everybody at E3 trying it out. The Treehouse members were playing it and this made it look like so much fun and it really, really does live up to that. And when it comes out, when you guys are playing it, you're definitely gonna see that. The last thing that I want to mention is Amiibo support. They've added Amiibo support. It's really, really cool the way it works in this game. And the Amiibos that they added specifically for the game visually look really, really cool. So if I were to give this game a score, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. I think it really deserves that score. It's so much fun, and it's a great new first party franchise. Enjoy it. <laughs> what else to say? Um, I guess that's it for now. If you like this video, please feel free to do all that cool YouTube stuff, like the video, subscribe, uh, share it with your friends, and I look forward to making more reviews for you guys. Take care.